What is the scope of a federal court's power to remedy a constitutional violation? Can it order a party to take remedial action outside the municipality where the violation occurred? We explore those questions in Hills v. Gatro. Dorothy Gatro and five others filed a class action lawsuit against the Chicago Housing Authority, or CHA, in federal district court. They filed a companion class action lawsuit against Hills, Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, in the same court. The plaintiffs were black tenants in or applicants for public housing in Chicago. They alleged that CHA selected public housing sites and assigned tenants based on race. They further alleged that HUD violated the Fifth Amendment and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 by providing financial assistance to CHA's discriminatory projects. The district court found that CHA operated a racially discriminatory public housing system and granted summary judgment to the plaintiffs. However, it dismissed the plaintiff's case against HUD. The Seventh Circuit reversed. It found that HUD had violated both the Fifth Amendment and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 by knowingly supporting CHA's discriminatory housing practices. On remand, the district court consolidated the cases against CHA and HUD. It then attempted to fashion a remedy for CHA's and HUD's constitutional violations. It declined to impose a remedy that extended beyond the Chicago city limits. The Seventh Circuit again reversed and remanded. It instructed the district court to further consider adopting a metropolitan area plan to dismantle Chicago's discriminatory public housing system. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.